Hey everyone, so today is the day, finally, my review of the Empire AX50 portable amplifier and DAC. Now, I have had this now for almost three months. I got it, I believe, May 23rd of this year, and it, we are now in August. So I'm not going to beat around the bush with this review if you guys want to know if it's a good amp or not and if I recommend it yes I do recommend it and yes it is a good amp it's a good portable amp deck and um, at the time that I purchased it it was on Amazon for $99.99 and I think back then it had like a five dollar off coupon or some something like that but it's still $99.99, but it doesn't have that coupon anymore. Like a 10% off or $5 coupon code that it had when I first saw it. And yeah, this is a really good amp. It can power my Fostex T20RP, which is the highest, the hardest headphones that I have to drive at the moment. Although I may get some others in the future. And I've been able to pair it with a bunch of different devices like... My Galaxy Note 10 Plus, my LG V35 ThinQ right here, my Pioneer high res digital audio player right here, my desktop computer, my laptop right behind me, and a few of my Bluetooth speakers, and everything that I connected it with or paired it with. Um, it made them sound really good. Did I mention it powers my Fostex T20 RP? These Fostex of uh, the T20, the T20, T40, and T50, these RP lines, the planar magnetic headphones of Fostex, are some of the hardest headphones to drive. And even though they have 50 watts or they have a uh, impedance. Uh, 50 ohms a lot of reviews say that they're very hard to drive compared to some other f headphones with the, uh, an even uh, higher impedance rating and so yeah I highly recommend this and it's a very good amp deck it's got a lot of features for its price and it makes everything sound good that you pair it with with almost very little or if any distortion so go pick it up right now. Anyways, as you guys know, I like to go into detail. So in this review, we're going to go over Empire's um, background a little bit. Because as I've said in previous reviews, I like to kind of know the company that I'm investing my money in as far as buying their products. And if they've been around for a while and not just some fly-by-night company. And that they have they'll have good support for your um for the product that you're buying just in case you run into any issues with said product we're going to go over the specs and the features of this ax50 the build quality and walkthrough we're going to go over connectivity that means how easily it is to pair this or just you know to connect it with other devices and that includes USB OTG and also 3.5 millimeter line out. And then we're going to go over the sound in detail. So sit back, relax, and um, enjoy the video. So let's go over a brief background about Empire. I couldn't find any website that they have, but they do have their Empire or product. Sto uh, product page on Amazon and if you look uh, since the last 12 months it says they have had 86% or better positive uh, in the last 12 months the company was founded in 2017 and they talk about that they have met all the requirements as far as for uh, product quality control they passed numerous certifications they target mostly America, Britain, Germany, France, Spain, Italy, Canada, Australia, and 
and others more than 20 it says consumer markets around the world i haven't been able to contact them so that's my apologies because on the uh warranty it says to contact the manufacturer and i never got around to doing that so i apologize but i'm thinking it's probably the normal 90 day product warranty or registration and they also have well it says uh once you purchase a product from us you will get our warranty and return commitment great lifetime after sales online support your questions or will get answered within 24 hours uh, does it have the uh, warranty here let me see yeah so i couldn't find any information on the warranty other than that they give great after sales support and the 86 percent positive ratings within the last 12 months this particular model it looks like at the time of this review it has 259 reviews on amazon and of um four stars an average of four stars for 259 reviews so it's a pretty well received product this one right here the ax50 so that's empire they've been around since 2017 so what is it now 2017 18 19 20 probably like almost four years they have an 86 percent positive rating on uh amazon and this particular product right here has four stars average on amazon a lot of their um amplifiers are normally like four stars now the only thing that i question on this is that when i first bought this it was going under the topping name or the topping model number i think it was the nx4 or nx2 but i think amazon fixed it so now when you buy it it'll say um ax50 on the uh, order page okay let's go over the specs and features as you guys can tell it's a pretty small amp it's a portable amplifier and DAC if you guys don't know what an amplifier or DAC is check out the links in my description so you guys will know or get a better understanding of, of what a headphone amplifier or amp or DAC is so this particular amp DAC because it's both an amplifier and a DAC. It has the ESS Sabre ES9028 Q2, Q2M um, Sabre chip for your for your DAC, and it has it has an XMOS, XMOS XU208 um, amplifier. One of the main features, or why I got this too, it says it supports headphones from 16 ohms to 600 ohms that's the uh, impedance and it's high res audio it's got it can play 32 bit files up to 192 kilohertz uh, it has dsd as you guys can see right there it has dsd 256 it has a bass boost which uh, my monolith did not have and um I'll talk about that more when, when I get to the monolith or when I compare it with the monolith maybe in, in the future in a future review or a future comparison it has a uh, up to 1000 milliwatts of output power it, sa it says pure direct current clean current uh, it has a high and low gain and uh, 10 hours of it has a 4000 milliamp hour battery for 10 hours of playtime and like I said before, it's got a wide compatibility. You can pair it with your desktop like what I did, your laptop, your tablet, your phone, or uh, and your uh, MP3 player or high-res digital audio player. And um, out of the box, as you guys seen in the, in the unboxing, you get pretty much everything you would want to get or you can get to get started which um <clears throat> the monolith did not come with any cables of any sort except for the charging brick and cable so you get this rubber band here so you can like hook it up to like say your smartphone or your DAC and just you know wrap it up so you can put the two together like so
you have your 3.5 to 3.5 a short one so you don't have to worry about getting a long one that you know might get in the way if you don't want it to if you're on on the go this cable right here so don't let this little cable right here fool you even though you it has this like little lightning bolt right here I don't believe this is the cable used for charging. It's it's more of a your USB OTG cable or USB on the go. And I've used this cable with my Pioneer high res digital audio player to get USB on the go with my devices and also with the uh, Empire DAC. So one end right here is micro USB. And that's what you would plug to your to the AX50 right there you would plug it in on this part where it says OTG and then this end with the lightning bolt is a USB-C and you would just plug this onto your smartphone and this is mostly for smartphones or laptops now or new tablets that don't have a 3.5 millimeter headphone port like this, a 3.5 connector. And uh, the second cable right here is probably the one that you would use for charging. So it's got micro USB right here and then it's got USB A right here on this end so you can plug it in to a power brick or you could even charge it with your desktop or laptop with the USB um, port. Let's go take a look at the um, amp deck itself. So here's the amp deck and I already have it on. It, it, this Empire logo turn uh, shows up when it's on like so. And that was the this is the big knock that I don't like with this uh, Empire AX50 is that this display only shows the Empire name. I wish it would have shown like your volume levels at least and also if it would if it could show like if you're um it could show the high gain if the high gain or it's low gain and also um if your bass boost is on or off. Uh the other thing that display shows and you guys will see that is a uh, when it's connected via USB OTG USB on the go and so going up top here as you guys can see this is your input or no this is the one for yeah this is for the input this is where you would plug this directly to the device and then you would plug your headphones on the right side in my case and right here to the right where the headphone jack connects you have the bass boost on and off and then on the left where you connect it line in you have your low and high gain and here in the center is your volume knob and on switch you have a blue LED light here to the right also where the headphones connect so you can also tell that this uh, amp jack is on in the back nothing sides nothing here on the bottom going from left to right on the left is your battery indicator levels you have three LEDs one for high medium and low and as you can see right now I'm at medium when the LED gets to L or low it'll change from green a green LED to like a red LED when it's really really low and so that way you'll know it's time to charge this uh, app up then you have your micro USB port for charging and then your micro USB port for USB OTG and this whole portable amp deck is it's all solid like aluminum right here all around and the only plastic part is uh, the display right here this Empire display 
the volume knob is also made out of aluminum and it's got uh, it's got that like texture right there or what I call knurling on barbells where it gives it uh, so you can get a better grip and you get a better feel on this volume knob and make it's got nice adjustments to it to you can you know it's a very solid volume knob it's not gonna like and it's got these guards right here so you don't accidentally like turn up the volume or turn down the volume if it's in your pocket and right up top here it's almost like rubbery feeling so for it's just for an all-around good feel on the uh in the hands ladies if um with this uh volume knob and so that's the little walkthrough and uh build quality is outstanding five out of five the only thing i didn't like is like i said the display i wish it would show more than just a name and it does show otg on if it's connected and you guys will see that in a little bit so like i said you could <clears throat> connectivity so like i said you can pretty much connect this to any type of device that has either a us mic a usb port or usb c port or a usb a port or the 3.5 millimeter port like what I still have here on my LG V35 ThinQ and also on this Pioneer high-res digital audio player where is that? right there and like I said you could also hook it up to your speakers um, not necessarily Bluetooth speakers but any speakers that have the that 3.5 millimeter port you can connect it to and you can probably daisy chain it with uh with some adapters with more than one speaker connected but no it doesn't connect via bluetooth because this is not a uh this is not a bluetooth amp it's a you know it's a line out amp it's connector connecting amp but i connected it up so I connected this with a bunch of different devices like I already mentioned and also this Bluetooth speaker that can also be connected wired and everything I connected it to it connected easily I mean you just plug it in right and once you plug it in it's you're you know you're off and running it's good to go so as far as connectivity goes it's it's really good as far as uh, as long as it's a wired connection either through usb or through the 3.5 millimeter uh jack okay so now let's go over the sound in detail so <clears throat> the sound in detail um if i were to compare this with my other amp the monolith this is more of a warmer it has a it gives off a warmer sound meaning it's a more fun it's not necessarily anal analytical but it can be although the mono price that i have is more analytical but that mono price is also three times as much as this empire amp right here as you guys could see like i said on the top it has a bass boost function and the bass boost works really well with certain genres if you're listening to dance music and hip hop, um, modern, you know, like top 40 music, EDM, electronic dance, uh, that bass boost is going to come in really handy. Or if you have headphones that don't have enough bass, the bass boost will come in handy. And what I like about the bass boost is that it doesn't really muddy the other sounds like your mids and your highs. It, you could still you still get your mids and highs even when you have the bass boost on and uh, I wish I had like more equipment that you can I could show you guys like sound demos but I can't because I can't afford a really like what are those those binaural microphones or something like that or head yeah but take it from me or not but you should um, 
it sounds really good. It has a very warm and fun sound. And like I said, it's also high res audio certified. At least I think it is. And um, <clears throat> although the one in the picture had that high res audio logo right here, this one doesn't. It might be an earlier unit. I'm not sure. But either way, whether it has high res audio or not, like I said, it sounds good. And that's the most important thing to me, whether it has the high res audio logo or not, is that it sounds good. And this does sound good. It makes everything that I pair it with sound good and better. And it makes the, uh, it's the only one that could, well, one of the few. Um, and it can drive these hard to drive Fostex headphones right here and get them to very loud volumes, which I can't get with um, the other devices that I have. I can barely get this loud enough, but when you use the uh, those other devices with this amp, now you can drive the Fostex headphones pretty loud. Oh so, yeah, I don't know too much to say about the sound and detail. Um, it's a warm, fun sound. Um, not necessarily analy analytical and uh, it's you can get it to somewhat neutral when you turn off um, bass boost but as you guys can see I normally have it on bass boost most of the times because most of the music I listen to um, <clears throat> I enjoy the bass with most of the music that I listen to if you're gonna be listening to like just mostly vocals <laughs> or I don't know why you would listen to podcasts on this thing, but you could, then maybe I would turn the bass boost off. And I normally just leave the high gain on because with high gain on, I don't really have to turn the volume knob. I don't have to turn this volume knob up too much to get my headphones or speakers to um, respectable volumes. And like I said, it can drive the specs say they can drive this amp could drive headphones up to 600 ohms and uh, if you guys want to send me if you guys have 600 600 ohm headphones and you guys want to send them to me to test out i will test them out but i'm not sure when i'll if i'll ever get headphones with a, a 600 amp there aren't too many headphones too nowadays um with the 600 ohms or yeah 600 ohms or greater i think 600 ohms is the max so sound and detail all around is it's really good it's got that bass boost function and the bass boost does not distort the other frequencies or muddy up the other frequencies and it does give better clarity than just listening to your device or your speakers or your headphones without it it gives it better clarity but it's not necessarily analy analytical saying analytical how many times or real fast and it's uh, a really enjoyable listen to anything that you listen to it makes them sound better and there's not much more to say about that you know it's just a good warm fun sounding portable amp deck but it's also clear i haven't noticed any hissing with any of my devices that i paired this with even um my in-ear headphones this is the cca c12 that i have right here this is a a 12 driver in-ear um headphones in-ear headphones yeah and it has 12 drivers, six per earpiece. And I didn't notice any hissing with any of these, with these in-ears or any of my headphones or speakers that I paired this up with. Well, actually maybe one speaker that I paired it up with. And that was my nine bass, but that's an older Bluetooth speaker. One of my oldest Bluetooth speakers. But once I, started playing music on the nine bass the hissing stopped or it went away and you wouldn't even be able to hear it no more 
so it also gives pretty clean um, audio and that clean audio is probably as a result of what they call their pure direct current so I didn't notice any hissing or anything like that with any of my headphones in ears and uh, any of my speakers whether it was through the Empire connected to the laptop my desktop or my smartphones in my high-res digital audio, audio player I didn't notice any hissing or white noise in the background so all around the sound is really good really good okay so that pretty much wraps up this um, review of this Empire AX50 like I said in the beginning I, I highly recommend this it gets my two thumbs up highly recommended and like I said, it, it's got on Amazon an average of four stars out of 259 reviews. And for the price, $99.99, you're getting a lot of features that even some more expensive portable amp decks don't have. It also comes with all the connectors and cables that you need to just about pair it with almost any device you can think of, you know. The manual is not that in-depth, but it doesn't need to be. It's pretty self-explanatory when you're using this. So that is it. If you guys are interested in this Empire AX50, please use the link in my description as it does help out my channel and my charity, The Wounded Warrior Project. Everybody, thank you guys all for watching. Take care. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a fantastic day.